Hey, it's Mark with FindingHomesToday.com, and I'm here with another one of my bonus questions of the day that I've got from a buyer recently, and they said, are we in a buyer's market or a seller's market? And to explain that in some nice, easy terms, let's pretend we have 100 houses on the market, and we've got 75 buyers out there looking. The buyers can have a choice of which houses they want, so they can pretty much make some better offers, and the sellers are trying to get those buyers under contract. That's considered a buyer's market. Now flip the coin over, and let's say we have 100 houses on the market, and we've got 150 people trying to buy those houses. This is about the market that we're in right now. And at that point, the sellers can pretty much ask for whatever they want, set the terms themselves, and the buyers, if they want to get into that property, really have to bend to their knees to get those properties. For example, we made a proper, an offer on a property and the property was listed at 260000 They received 36 offers, with 30 of them being over the asking price of 260. 25 of the offers were over 265000 Six of the offers were over 280000 And surprisingly, 30% of the offers put in an appraisal gap, meaning they would pay over the appraised value just to get that property. Now again, that's not recommended for most people in their situations, but some people will want a property enough where they'll put in an appraisal gap. So again, that's the way the market balances right now. Seller's market. It'd be nice if it balanced out. We may see that in the next couple of years. Don't know. But in the meantime, keep the questions coming. I'll see what I can do to help you out. Have a great day. It's Mark with FindingHomesToday.com. Talk to you later.